So what are we going to do if I want to simplify this complex situation? What I have is 7 times the square root of negative 18 uh, minus 2 times the square root of negative 32. So the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, that I want to do for this problem is simplify my radicals. Right? We talked about simplifying complex numbers so, so that we can take the square root of a negative number. Now, I showed you different ways to, take the, um, to simplify this. But the first thing that I would want to do is simplify these. So I'm going to have 7 times. We're going to rewrite this as 9 times 2 times negative 1 minus 2. If I simplify my radical, I can simplify that to 16 times 2 times a negative 1. So does everybody see what I did there? Does 9 times 2 times a negative 1 give you negative 18? Yes. Does 16 times 2 times negative 1 give you negative 32? Yes. Now notice the choice of my numbers that I chose to do that with. I didn't just pick randomly choose two numbers to multiply to give me my number and my radical. I made sure I chose a number that was a square number. Why would you want to make sure you choose a square number? Because you can take the square root of square numbers, right? So if I say, um, if I say the square root of 32, here's a, lot of, here's a big mistake students will make. They say, oh, well, that's the square root of 8 times 4. And I say, yeah, you're right. But 8 and 4 need, well, actually, 4 is a square number. Dang, that's not my example. Um, 32 would work. Uh, what was my example I was looking at? Um, I don't, oh, yeah, we could do this. Let's say 24. Right? 24, near, nor 8 or 3 are square numbers. You can still simplify this. All right? But the easiest way to meet you to do this is to pick square numbers. So rather than picking 8 and 3, I would pick 6, not 16, I would pick 4 and 6 because I know what the square root of 4 is, right? So um, same thing, I guess, actually, you could have looked at this. Don't pick 6 and 3. I picked 9 and 2 because 9 is a square number. So now to simplify this, the square root of 9 is 3. I do not know the square root of 2, so that's going to leave on radical. And the square root of negative 1 is i minus 2. The square root of 16 is 4. I don't know the square root of 2. The square root of negative 1 is i. Now, multiply my coefficients. So I have 21, square root of 2, i, um, minus 8, square root of 2i. And actually, I just noticed the problem that I did, the work I did was actually wrong. I just noticed that, because I multiplied for some reason. I have no idea why. But you guys notice, are these like terms? Square root of 2i and square root of 2i? Yeah. So just do 21 minus, or 21 square root of 2i minus 8 square root of 2i. It's 13 square root of 2i. My work on the board was actually wrong. My apologies. OK? There you go. I just noticed that. <laughs>